What's up guys? So I did not plan on doing a video today, but something very interesting happened. I received a phone call from the president of Motorsport Games, also president of 704. So how did this come about? Well, I was contacted by uh, Andy Gray, who is the head of PR and esports product at Motorsport Games. Uh, after I made the last video, he contacted me in the uh, comment section. I thought it was somebody messing with me or playing a joke. But, you know, lo and behold, I, I gave him my, uh, my email and he contacted me. And he said that uh, Steve Hood, um, the president, wanted to speak to me. So at this point, I was like, is this for real or I don't know, whatever. So I said, sure. I gave him my, my cell number. I said he can call me. And in a very short period of time, I got an email from Steve Hood himself. He said, hey, is it okay if I call you in a few minutes and we could have a little chat? I said, sure. So I start thinking to myself, why would they want to speak to me? Um, this is a tiny channel. Uh, very few people even know about me. It's really only some of the people in the community who follow NASCAR and NASCAR games and that stuff. So it's a very, 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 very small corner of that, you know, group. So I'm like, yeah, I just, I was like, kind of, why would they want to talk to me? I said, well, maybe they saw my last video. I was kind of harsh. And on Twitter, I did leave a couple of tweets that were like, I was like, hey, I'm sick and tired of this esports stuff. Um, so I, I guess, you know, I was a little harsh, right? Um, and maybe they're just like, hey, we need to speak to this guy, you know. I didn't know what to think. So the phone rings and it's Steve and he introduces himself. And he's calling from the UK, by the way. Uh, and he says, hey, I'm Steve Hood. I'm you know, president of uh, a Motorsport Game 704. And I've been watching your videos. I, I like your videos. I think you're very passionate and you seem to be very honest and, and you, you, you know, you speak your mind. And I said, you know, I appreciate that. Uh, I hope you guys understand that I'm just being constructive. I'm not just some random guy trying to bash you guys and make, you know, get attention for himself. Uh, you know, I don't make money doing this or anything like that. I'm just all about the game. You know, I want to see, you know, better stuff. And he says, no, don't worry about it. You know, I see, I, I, I watch your videos and I hear you, you know, so I want to kind of put your mind at ease. I want to explain to you what, you know, what, what's going on, what's really going on. Right. Cause there's a little confusion. So I said, great. You know, so he's telling me, you know, Hey, we got some big plans for career mode and all this stuff, you know, you don't have to worry. This stuff isn't being, you know, we know that you think it's just being forgotten and all we only care about one thing. And so I said, hey, you know, I, I'm glad to hear it. And, and he told me a few other things, but, you know, he said, you know, if, if there's any questions I have, I could ask. But he wasn't at liberty to really talk about details about NASCAR Heat 5 or anything, you know, actual, like, feature wise or anything like that he, he can't release that information right now it's not the right time and also you know I told him listen I get it I'm not I wasn't expecting to start getting all this information I'm not even I'm not a journalist or anything like that that's not the way these things work so basically it was more of a, a meet and greet and, and just kind of clearing things up uh and I was like hey you know uh I, I really appreciate the fact that you reached out to me. Um, and he's like, listen, it's I want to know what's going on. And, and we do follow what's going on. And uh, he didn't, you know, we didn't get into details, right? So that stuff's coming in the future. He says he's, he, he uh, confirmed to me that he's like really excited about the things that they're going to reveal down the line. And um, basically, that's all I've ever really wanted. Like, hey listen to the community, pay attention, 
and you know just try to continue giving us what we're asking for you know up to this point 704 has been going in the right direction not fast enough for most of us but at least that's a good thing and they, they've been doing that so Sean he you know he, he mentioned that you know Sean Wilson you know he left but he had an opportunity a uh, business opportunity with a, with a friend or friends and that you know these things happen right and you know in the, the, the gaming industry uh, this is me talking right now you know these guys all they're all familiar with each other a lot of times people leave one company they end up working at another company and, and vice versa that's the way it is right so it's I think it's a tight-knit community I, I would imagine so you know he basically said listen what we did was restructure certain areas right so the esports thing we restructured that we've got new people in there working and there's different things we're working on so uh that's pretty much why you got a new pr guy and there's different things that that's being moved around so he told me and and this is how i know he's, he really did watch my video uh at least the last one he said, uh, you called me the captain, and you're right. I'm the captain. I'm, you know, this, I'm the captain of the ship. Uh, the powers that be gave me the keys, and they're like, here, you know, it, this is your uh, thing. You do what you need to do. Uh, so he's basically the top guy. He's the guy that decides where the, this whole thing's headed in, in terms of, uh, you know, uh, where the game's being developed and how and what they're focusing on, things like that. Um, I mean, he's the president. I don't expect, I don't think he's in there at every last tiny detail, but he's the guy. And he told, and I appreciate that he took, a risk. he says, I'm responsible. So I'm the guy that, you know, the things you like, don't like, whatever. It's, you know, that's my thing. And he's, he said that they, they, they're trying to get to a point where, they're not just, they don't just want to catch up to other games, right? Because I talked a bit about that, that they're kind of behind other games and stuff. But he says that he's looking further into the future. He wants to make sure that they not only catch up to other uh, franchises and other racing titles and stuff like that, but there's other things they want to, uh, you know, push forward with. Which is fine, right? Because that stuff doesn't concern me, and I understand that they there's a they got different things they want to do. But what's most important to me is that he, you know, he uh, he reiterated to me. He says, "Don't worry, you know, we have plans for career mode. This stuff, we know what you're talking about." And he's, you know, he told me he's a gamer too. He's in he he gets my passion. He understands what what I'm talking about. So. Basically, that's what the talk was about, right? It was about a 10, 15 minute phone call. Um, and th there's no details uh, about the game or anything like that. And I wasn't expecting that. So those of you uh, who were expecting information and stuff like that, that's not, you know, that's not coming that way anyway. When they're ready to reveal information, they're going to do it the way that, you know, they, most developers do it. They'll probably, you know, do it through a publication, whatever, and you'll hear things. But um, he also told me, I, I he asked me if I had any questions. I'm not a journalist, so I wasn't really prepared, you know. I was just like, you know, the president of the company wants to talk to me. You know, I wasn't sure what to think. But I did, before he, he hung up, I said, I do got one question. Um, is are there any plans to do a uh, or or provide the community with a forum of some kind? You know, a central hub, a place where everybody can go to for information, to discuss the games, to uh, leave ideas, to also communicate with uh, 704 and 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 have the developers chime in and out, and and we can have this back and forth where. This all helps push the game where we all want it to go. And he said, yes, we do. We do have plans for that. Uh, you know, and I told him, I said, because it's pretty hard getting information right now. 
bouncing around Facebook, Twitter, all this stuff. Me personally, I a lot of times I get information from you guys uh, in the comment section or somebody just sends me a link and say, hey, did you hear? That's how I heard that the esports thing was, you know, announced that they were shutting down, back, you know, to a couple of months ago. It was because somebody told me, I'm like, oh, let me go look for that and check it out. So the bottom, the main point that I want to make is that no matter how small of a YouTuber you are, or, you know, keep doing what you do. And he told me, keep making your videos, keep, you know, giving feedback, you know, uh, he said, I'm a big boy. Don't worry about, you know, the criticism and stuff like that. So I appreciate that. And, um, let me see what else was I, was I going to, okay, well, my point is guys like what if racing and, and, and elite killer and stuff like that. Um, a lot of times people will tell you, hey, you're wasting your time, this and that. And you've always heard me say the squeaky wheel gets the grease. That means if you got to complain, man. That's the only way something's going to get attention. And you know what? In the past couple years, 704 has been listening. Uh, the reason the game sounds great now is because I've been screaming about it for so long. And they finally addressed it. Uh, I've been screaming about how, how many years have you guys been watching me scream about the AI? The fact that they don't spread out, run different lines, and, you know, that they had to improve that. Well, they finally did. Um, the physics have been vastly improved. That ping pong effect is, is gone. Um, is it perfect? No, I know a lot of guys want a full blown simulator. It's a video game, you know, that's, it's the, the, the on track racing is really good. So, a lot of that is due to, you know, people asking for stuff. We've asked for, a, you know, a track map. They gave it to us. So keep in mind, we're not going to get everything we want in one shot the first time out. You just got to keep at it. So um, that's basically what it was. And yeah, you know, this really happened. That I'm not kidding. Uh, the president of the company called me and... It was a nice chat we had, and he told me that if I had anything I wanted to ask or, or talk about or maybe just tell him that I was free to do it. But I don't want people to think I'm some liaison. I'm not going to be taking requests to go, hey, find out this or ask that. that that's I'm not doing that. Uh, I don't make money doing this. This isn't something I, you know, I'm just glad that they're listening. We have to keep doing our thing. And I told him as well before he hung up, uh, if there's any information, anything you that you feel that you do want to just let me in on, feel free to email it or call me, whatever, uh, however you want to do it, right? So um, I'm, I feel better today than I did when I made my last video because he reassured me that, you know, the career mode is not forgotten. Oh, one last thing. I... Uh, for those of you who don't know, some of you probably already know. Steve Hood and, and Andy Gray, who's the, the PR guy, these guys came from Codemasters. So they already, you know, like I said before, you know, you see people in the industry, they'll, they, they'll be here today and then they'll be somewhere else tomorrow. That's the nature of the business. But these guys came from Codemasters. So they already understand, you know, that, that a lot of us would love to see that sort of career mode and the way that game is built in a NASCAR, in, you know, for a NASCAR game. So this is all positive, good stuff. And you know what? These guys, as far as I'm concerned, they have the benefit of the, of the doubt with me. And they've, they've been listening. So I don't know what else to say. It, that was pretty much it. And I think it's a positive step. Uh, a lot of game developers don't communicate that way with, with their consumers. So for him to take time out of his day to call me and just talk to me, he could have had some random person in the company send me an email and just say, hey, uh, like your vids. Uh, uh, we know you're concerned about, you know, esports and, and the career mode, but, you know, rest assured, uh, 
uh, we got some big things planned. Uh, have a nice day. It could have they could have did that honestly, but to get a, a personal phone call from the president and he's telling me, hey man, I watch your videos. I I I like your passion. I appreciate your honesty and your criticism. And don't worry, keep doing what you're doing, because uh, we are uh, listening and we're we're you know don't don't worry that career mode's going to be forgotten. That's not the case. So that's good stuff, right? So that's as good as I could have hoped for. And really, that's pretty much it. So I wanted to let you guys in on what happened. And, you know, the, the president, Steve Hood, actually called me and spoke to me. So that's great. Uh, I don't expect him to be keeping in touch with me and asking me for opinions and stuff. That's not the way these things work. And I'm just saying to you guys, because I know there's going to be people saying, hey, why don't you ask him this? Or send him an email and do it. That's not going to happen. So I'll keep doing what I'm doing. And he told me, hey, keep making your videos. Keep doing what you do. Uh, do it. Keep doing it the way you're doing it. And I appreciate that. So my message to other guys out there, you know, What If Racing, uh, you, uh, Elite Killer, all these other YouTubers that talk about these NASCAR games, keep doing what you're doing because, believe it or not, they are paying attention. If they're paying attention to me and these videos where it's just someone talking to a camera, these other YouTubers, they do much better videos. They know how to edit. They can put in video clips to explain what they're talking about. I don't know how to do that. And even if I knew how to do it, I don't have time to, to do all that. So if they paid attention to me, is what I'm trying to say, they, they're definitely going to pay attention to you guys as well. So let's just keep doing what we're doing. We're going to keep getting better games. I'm pretty confident in that. Uh, I don't know what to expect. But he told me he's very excited. So let's see what happens. Um, so... I feel a lot better now than I did uh, after the article and, and all this other stuff. And, you know, sometimes I've been doing this for, for about eight years now. It's a long time to talk about the same stuff and, and just see very little progress, right? But at least the progress is there. And it's it's tough to keep going on. There have been times where I'm like, why am I doing this? This is, I'm just fed up. But that's like a roller coaster. You know, there's times where I feel like that. And then there's other times where I'm like, you know what? I want to talk about this. I got to talk about it. So uh, I'm glad I that I that I kept going with it because, you know, things are looking, they're looking good, right? And at the end of the day, the most you can ask for is that you're being heard. So that's it. So I look forward to your comments. And uh, that's it. I'll, I'll do another video when something, there's news of some kind or something to talk about. So that's all I wanted to do. Just keep you guys in the loop. So uh, later.